Hey guys, welcome back to 7th grade Latin. Um, so I initially posted the wrong video in the form on Monday, uh, but you only caught that if you got to it really early. I corrected it and then sent out that email, so hopefully most people saw the correct video. But then, on, on top of that, I realized I was telling you guys to do a reading that I believe we already did before spring break. So, sorry about that. Later on the day on Monday, later in the day, I, I posted the correct link. But now this will be due on Friday. So, it's not going to be the Myrmidons reading again. That'd be weird. This is a, a wedding invitation for the wedding of Achilles' parents. Um, so... Uh, it'll be due on Monday. I'll, I'll get you to, to try to work through the whole thing. Today's video will be very short, so you'll have plenty of class time today to work through this. And then you'll enter it into the form on Friday, and the, the video on Friday I'll, I'll go through and check the whole thing. So sorry about the, the kind of double technical issue there on Monday. Um, I don't know what it is, but I have like more trouble keeping it organized, I guess. I need a whiteboard uh, like the one in the classroom to, to keep track of all the stuff. But uh, anyway, there it is. It'll be posted in the form, so you don't need to copy it from here, but just in case you want to for some reason, there it is. All right, let's check these two uh, translations, which you guys went through on Monday. Uh, okay, so remember, just in general, these passive verbs, which Dokintor and Move More both are, are going to be translated as I, you, it, we, all, or they. Am, is, or are verbed if it's present, which both of these are just present. It'll be will be verbed if it's future. Um, and then was or were verbed if it's imperfect. All right, so hopefully these went pretty well. Fortuna caica regit mentes eorum qui cum cura non docentor, uh, docentor rather. Uh, so I'm going to underline our relative clause here. It starts with qui. Hopefully you guys are getting more used to spotting those and, and kind of keeping them somewhat separate from the main clause. Mentes is a direct object of the main clause, whereas aorum is genitive of it. Cum cura is just an ablative, uh, you know, cura is the object of cum. And then how do we translate docentur? Uh, hopefully you are recognizing that it's from docheo, docheri, docui, which means to teach. And here it is third person, plural, passive. And so we're going to end up with something like blind fortune rules their minds, actively rules their minds. Uh, we can just translate aorum as there, or the minds of them, I guess, which are not taught with care. So, qui's antecedent is the minds, um, and it's the subject of its relative clause, and it's which are not verbed, are not taught. Okay, so it does, taught doesn't actually end in ed, but hopefully you're able to figure out that that's the the way that we say that you're, uh, you have been, um, uh, teached, right? We don't say teached, it's taught. So, uh, yeah, are not taught. Uh, non docentor, are not taught. Um, yeah, uh, I'll be looking over your submissions uh, right after I make this video, but hopefully y'all did okay with that. Omnes memoria doci aitatum ian condarum movemor. Okay, this is mostly maybe a vocab kind of uh, sentence in terms of what could give you difficulty. Uh, the move more is first person plural passive, which we haven't really translated yet. So memoria dulci, both of those can be ablative. Looks like it's going to be maybe an ablative of means. I taught them uh, eu condarum are both genitive. Uh, yep, I taught them there is third declension plural genitive. And move more is first plural passive. So it's going to be we are verbed. And this is kind of interesting because we have an adjective with omnes modifying the we. So that's a little tricky. So you want to say we are all as an omnes. Omnes is a subject, but also we is the subject. First person plural. We are all moved, all verbed, by the sweet memory of pleasant times. Um, yep. So what are they moved by? They're moved by memoria dulci. So it is an ablative of means. Remember, more than half the time that we have a passive verb, we will also have an ablative of means or an ablative of agent, and that'll be the thing actually doing the verbing. Um, yeah. All right, guys, so good luck with uh, your Thetis Peleusque story. Obviously, this vid is going to be really short. Um, I might add an additional additional one where I check uh, a few of these sentences, but uh, if, you, if you spend all of today's class time working on this, that will be a good use of time as well. All right, thank you, and sorry about uh, the technical issues on Monday.